when you're driving along and, and it's raining, you can see the droplets on the car flowing over the surface. You can put your hand out of the window and feel the force of aerodynamics. It's not something you can just put pen to paper and, and come up with something. We're designing something different from the norm, a vehicle that doesn't compromise on performance, range, or luxury. So that's why the collaboration between aerodynamics and design is so important. We wanted to provide a first-class experience for every user in the car. And in doing so, we had to expand the wheelbase and really maximize the interior volume. And that led us to this kind of sharp corner on the roof. And from an aerodynamic perspective, you would always choose a fastback design. And that's why we had to spend so much time on the roof spoiler to get the airflow to go where we wanted it to. Most luxury vehicles of this size and shape have a drag coefficient in excess of 0.3. Our target was to get it below 0.26. At highway speeds, a 10% reduction in aerodynamic drag gives you a 5% improvement in range. We're using computational fluid dynamics to predict the airflow around the vehicle. We're able to take those aerodynamic loads and uh, mechanical losses that we've measured in the wind tunnel and on the coast down track and, and actually examine where we're losing energy and efficiency. The spoiler is definitely one of my favorite parts of the car. There was a lot of optimizing that occurred, I'd say a good 20 iterations. There's constantly just a back and forth that needs to occur to make these products real. So we literally sit five to ten steps from each other, collaborate on a daily basis, allowing us to achieve that first class experience as well as a very efficient EV. Nothing is sacrificed. 